26 at 11 on SoapNet. Hi, D. You aren't asleep. <laughs> no, I've had enough sleep to last me for a year. How are you today? No, I don't feel much of anything, actually. But you are making progress. I was so happy when your mother told me. Yeah, if you call being able to wiggle my big toe progress, yeah. You want to show me? Sure. Okay. I'm going to put my hand on your toe. Wonderful. That is wonderful. Mm. <laughs> well, everyone seems pretty encouraged about it, so I guess I should be too. You should. I feel like Little John performing patty cake. Little John does it so good. I mean, he does it whenever I ask him to. Oh, guess where I took him today? To an X rated movie? No, no. I took him to a shoe store to get his first pair of shoes. You know, he's going to be walking soon, and I think you should have a pair. I just want you to see them. Mm. <laughs> you know, he's growing up so fast, I can't wait for you to see him. Yeah, neither can I. You know, it just seems that like he's been so good, because he seems to know that we, you know, we need him to cooperate. And uh, I've been helping your mother a lot lately, and uh, he just sits in his playpen and doesn't say a thing. I'm glad to hear about both of you. I'm, I'm trying. I really am trying. I know I can be the wife you want me to be. And I also know I can prove to you that I can be responsible about money also. I have a little surprise for you. What kind of surprise? I put in the claim for the $6,500 that the hospital lost. I know you did. Did Jill tell you that? Yes, she did. How long is it going to take? Delia, I canceled the claim. You canceled it? Why? Because I didn't want to make an issue of it. Why not? I don't understand. We've always had plenty of money. There's nothing for you to worry about. We never had $6,500 that we could just throw away. Frank, we're going to need that money now more than ever. We'll get along. Frank, you're crazy. I mean, that, that's your money, and you should have it. It is your money, isn't it? You know it is. Well, then you have a right to it, don't you? Yes. But, uh, Dee, if you really want to help me, uh, just forget about the claim. Why not? I don't understand. You don't have to understand. I just want you to forget about the whole thing and not say anything to anyone. You don't want me to tell your family and, and, and Bob? No one. I thought you'd be pleased. I will be, if you'll just forget about it. I will. If that's what you want. I won't say anything. I won't mention it to anybody. with threats. His ex is back. I want to know what she's doing. I need you, Jake. And his ex has a surprise. Ryan and Greeley just got back together. And I'm pregnant. You're going to tell him, right? Watch All My Children weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. I miss you more than you'll ever know. It's all led up to this moment. I've never been more sure about anything in my life. But I loved her. And when I saw her in Sonny's living room, all that stuff came back. How will Sonny react to his son's confession? Watch General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. 
Every day, 24,000 children die of poverty-related issues. 24,000. Millions more around the world are suffering, waiting. Children like Suta have heard no their whole lives. No food, no water, no school, no medical care. Call the number on your screen or go to childfund.org and sponsor a child through Child Fund. For the next 100 days, our goal is to get 100 children sponsored every single day. We're calling this project 100 Days of Yes. Together, we can make a difference one child at a time. So let's all say yes. Say yes to Tia. Say yes to Booty. Say yes to Bela. Say yes to Roki. And say yes to Suda. For every one child who's been given the gift of sponsorship, many more are waiting for your help. For over 70 years, Child Fund has changed the lives of millions of children in the U.S. and around the world with healthy food, clean water, medical care, and education. All of this for less than a dollar a day. How will you know your money's being well spent? You'll get letters, updates, and pictures from your child telling you about their progress. Your dollar a day affects a child's life forever. We've only just begun. Please become one of the first to say yes. It's just one moment, one moment to say yes. Pick up the phone, sponsor a child, and change their life forever. Child Fund has helped millions of children, but we still need your help. Say yes and make a difference in the life of a child. Call the number on your screen or go to childfund.org to sponsor a child now. The next no a child like Suta hears may be his last. Call now before it's too late. Call 800-392-2932 or go to childfund.org to sponsor a child today. Well, what's the decision? I'm ashamed to say the job is yours. Ashamed? Now, come on, Marshall. You made an intelligent decision. The only responsible one you could have made. I've sold out an old friend. Friendship has nothing to do with it. It was a professional decision. The fact is, I'm better able to head the department than he is. And research, possibly. But this is an administrative post. It requires a certain amount of tact and diplomacy. Qualities that I haven't noticed you exhibiting to any great extent the past couple of days. Well, Marshal, you don't have to worry about that because I've never had any trouble handling people. Well, I think you're going to be at a disadvantage here. Oh, really? Why? I'm not the only one who thought that Ed Coleridge should have had that position. Most of the hospital thought so, too. Now, tell me something, Marshal. If he was so well qualified for the position, how come he was only made acting head at the beginning? Hmm? Obviously, there were some qualifications about him to begin with. It can't be rationalized that way. That job would have been Ed's if you hadn't pressured us into giving it to you. Marshal, you yourself said that the best job for me was neurology. Now, I wasn't interested in the job at the time. I am now. Because you want Nell reporting to you instead of to Ed, especially since she isn't reporting to you at home anymore. I don't deny that's part of the reason. Hey, look, can I use your telephone for a minute? Sure, go right ahead. I'm going down to Ed's office anyway. Have you told him yet? No. That's just what I'm about to do. I'm not looking forward to it. I was able to get a much better picture this time. I I'd like to bring the plates over. Good. I'll see you in a minute. Come in. Oh, good morning, Marshal. Good morning, Ed. You all right? No, I'm, I'm not feeling very well. well. What's the trouble? Well, it's about something that I have to tell you. Well, maybe you'll feel better after you tell me. I don't think so. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that it was a difficult decision, but the search committee has decided to appoint Seneca Bolak head of neurology. Oh, you, you can't mean that. I wish I didn't know. How could you let that happen? Oh, it was the search committee, no. Oh, I have to share the responsibility. 
When Seneca asked for the job, I took his request to the committee and, and, and we were afraid we'd lose him to another hospital if we turned him down. I'm not proud of our decision, but his name can be of help in obtaining foundation grants. And you know how badly we need them now. Of course. I'm sorrier than I can say. Marshal. Don't, uh, don't be so hard on yourself. I, I understand the committee's thinking. Well, thanks for being so gracious about it. Well, come on in. Uh, have a cup of coffee with us. Uh, I'd like to, but uh, Seneca is still waiting in my office, and I have some things to take care of before I get back to him. We'll talk later. All right. It's outrageous. It's completely and totally unfair. I know why Seneca's done this. Uh, I don't... He's trying to get back at you because of us. I don't know what his motives are, but... Well, he is a highly qualified doctor. Well, there's only one thing I can do. I'm going to quit. Oh, no, please don't do that to me. I... One disappointment's enough. It... At least let me look forward to seeing you here at the hospital. I don't want to work for Seneca. I won't. No, it... That'd be cutting off your nose to spite your face. Your work's here now. You got to follow through on it. I suppose it wouldn't do either of us any good if I quit. Of course not. But if I stay, I am going to do everything in my power to make sure you get that job away from Seneca. It's rightfully yours, and you're going to get it. No, this is Dr. Faith Coleridge. Miss Gonzalez will be back in a minute, but I, I will give her the message. Right, bye. Mary? Hi, Faith. Hi. Isn't that great about Frank? Being able to move his foot. Oh, yeah. It's marvelous. Daddy says it's a really good sign, and he's very encouraged about it. Well, we all are. You don't seem to be. Don't I? No, you, you really look depressed. I guess I feel a little let down after all the excitement. Mm -hmm. We've been waiting so long for a sign that Frank wasn't going to be paralyzed. Now that we have it, it makes me that much more aware of how far he has to go. Well, yeah, but now you know there really is hope. You're right. I really have no reason to be depressed. And I don't want Frank to think I am, either. Mm. The, uh, there's a nurse in there with him now. So is Delia. Do you want to sit down for a minute? Yeah, I'd love to. Is that the paper with Jack Benelli's column in it? Yep. Maybe that's what's bothering you. Could be, couldn't it? Yeah. You know, nobody that knows Frank is going to be influenced by that. People expect that kind of thing from Jack Finelli. That's what depresses me most. I didn't. I trusted him and he let me down. Are you serious about him? I was beginning to be. I guess it sort of clouded my judgment. I was the one who persuaded Frank to let Jack into the old. Well, if, if you're worried about Frank blaming you for the column, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that, take that seriously. Oh, I don't. I'm just not looking forward to telling him about it. Well, why don't you wait for Pat to finish making rounds with Roger? If anybody can throw a bright light on things, your brother's going to be able to. You've discovered that, have you? Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm just getting to know Pat now that we're interns together. Finally, after 24 years, I'm realizing what a nice person he is. Well, better late than never. <laughs> you know, the other day when we were on the houseboat with Bucky, I really enjoyed dancing for the first time in my life. That's, that's some sort of major miracle for me. I was kicked out of ballet school at the age of eight. Oh, Faith, you are not. Yeah, I was. <laughs> the teacher told my mother there was no point in my continuing classes because my body was too tense and unrhythmical. I have been self-conscious about that ever since. But with Pat, I, I really enjoyed myself. There's a terrific talent for making people enjoy themselves. Yeah? Y your brothers are really wonderful. <sighs> They're pretty special, all right. All the Ryan men are. Listen, the Coleridge's aren't too bad, either. If it hadn't been for your father and your brother, Frank never would have made it. Yeah. That reminds me, I, I was just going to go see my father. Oh, go ahead. 
I'll go on in and tell Frank about Fanelli's article. Y you're not going to wait for Pat? <sighs> no. You made me feel a lot better. I think I can handle it myself. Well, I'm sure you can. D do you want to have lunch if you're free around noon? Oh, Faith, I'd love to. But I got to get back to headquarters after I see Frank. That's OK. And another time, though, all right? I'd love to. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. People are talking about General Hospital's Jason Morgan. Nicole Lachelle Alvarez posted on Facebook, I love Jason. Candace Prophet says, how I love you. Let me count the ways. Linda Lair Cox says, hot, hot, hot. Who doesn't love bad boys? And Melissa Russell Gray adds, my absolute favorite character ever. What a sexy man. People are talking about General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. A blender for Aunt Sue, headphones for Uncle Wayne, pillow fats and hot wheels for my sister's kids in Maine. Oh, Walgreens has perfect gifts for all those on your list, like a Walgreens gift card for your daughter's teacher, Miss Gilchrist. Finish up your list at Walgreens and get $5 in Walgreens Super Jingle Cash with every $25 you spend. Good for anything in the store. Stay jolly with Walgreens. Lots of anti-aging makeups promise results, but this one has five ingredients to prove it. L'Oreal's new Visible Lift Age Reversing Makeup, Luminous Foundation. With a serum of five anti-aging ingredients, you'll see five beautiful benefits. L'Oreal's new Visible Lift Makeup. All right, everyone, we're live in 60. <laughs> the dreaded first sneeze, that crucial moment when you're left with a choice. Shorten your cold or suffer through it. At the first sign, get rid of your cold faster with Zycam. What do you do when the person hurting you... You made me feel worthless! ...is your own father? Shoot me. I dare you. Then... This is Bodie's baby. You deserve to know the truth, John. Just when she's ready to confess... Will you marry me? Watch One Life to Live. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. Come in. Hi. I have a great idea, and I want to tell you about it, all right? Now, when was the last time we had a party? So long ago, <laughs> I, I, I don't remember when. <laughs> what, what I thought is, maybe we could have a Sunday brunch. Hmm? That way, Johnny and Maeve could come. And if we have it next Sunday, we can celebrate it being the first day of autumn. Uh, Do you think that's a bad idea? No, no, not, not a bad idea at all. I, it's, it's a fine idea. What's the matter? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, I, I just got some news this morning that I wasn't quite prepared for. What was it? Uh, it seems the search committee has decided to name Seneca Bolak head of neurology. That, that's impossible. Oh, he's, he's a very good man. They're, they're not going to stand for that. They can't do that to you. The, the staff's not going to stand for that. They, they can't do that. I'm afraid it's not up to the staff. You know, it's her fault. Who's? Nell Bolax. She hadn't forced her way in here. This never would have happened. Oh, no. She, she wasn't to blame in any way. It... No, she's as disturbed about it as you are. This is the most despicable thing you have ever done. You knew Ed Coleridge was supposed to have that job, and you deliberately took it away from him. I didn't take anything away from anybody. The position was open, I applied for it, and that's it. Knowing full well what the results would be. Are you suggesting that, that I owe Ed Coleridge some kind of special consideration? That I should sacrifice a job that I am extremely well qualified for just because he happened to be here first? You couldn't care less about an administrative post. Your research is the only thing that matters to you. No, you simply want to get Ed because you think he has something to do with my reasons for not wanting a reconciliation with you. Am I wrong about that? Ed has nothing to do with my decisions about us. But what you've done to him proves to me that I'm doing the right thing and putting you out of my life once and for all. Well, you're going to have a pretty hard time putting me out of your life now that we're going to be working so closely together. Yes. Yes, I know that. And my first reaction was to quit, but Ed persuaded me not to. And he's right. I can't let you do that to me. So I'm going to stay at Riverside. I'm going to go on with my work. I'm going to live my life the way I want to. 
which includes seeing Ed Coleridge whenever I want. And uh, avoiding you, except when absolutely essential for professional purposes. Nell, you used to be such a reasonable human being. I What's see, happened? I see absolutely nothing unreasonable about my reaction. You're completely irrational. You can call my behavior irrational when you have just harmed a very fine man by... by sheer vindictiveness. No, no, no. I'm not talking about about my taking this position that I'm entitled to. I'm talking about your entire behavior since I came here. I have met every single one of your demands, and you still won't give me some kind of an explanation as to why you won't come back to me. I don't have to give you any explanation. I think I'm entitled to at least that much, no? I am doing what I want to do, and I don't have to justify it to you or to anyone else. Now, I am your husband. I have a right to know what's going on. If you ever had the right to know everything about me, you gave it up a long time ago. So, why don't you just make life simpler and pleasanter for all of us by going back to Minnesota for your appreciation? No, 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 no. I am not going back anywhere. Something's got to be at the bottom of this bizarre behavior of yours. And I'm not going to give up until I find out what it is. Next, take a trip to the Upper West Side on Ryan's Hope. Later, spend some time in Genoa City with the Young and the Restless, only on SoapNet. I need another story. I can find out what we did. I mean, these secrets you're trying to keep, they're gonna take you down. I love you. <laughs> Brenda and Dante having an affair? Sonny's great love sleeps with his long lost son? I mean, that's just fun to say. The smell of homemade chili. Whatever scents fill your household, Purina Tidy Cat Scoop helps neutralize odors in multiple cat homes, keeping your house smelling like it should. Purina Tidy Cat Scoop. Keep your home smelling like home. Ow! So you think Santa will like these red and green M&Ms? I don't know. I never met the guy. <laughs> he does exist. They do exist. Oh. Uh, Santa? At Match.com, we know that what you don't have in common... I graduated college with 4.0. You did? ...can be as attractive as what you do. Awesome. Wow, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Match.com. More dates, more relationships, and more marriages than any other site. Start for free. I lost 23 pounds. I lost 25 pounds. Thanks, HydroxyCut. I reviewed the studies of the clinically proven key ingredients, and subjects lost significantly more weight than dieting alone. New ProClinical HydroxyCut. Lose weight. Start now. It's the time for giving. The time to sum up all your feelings in one special gift for that special someone. So give them a gift they'll never forget. Give them... The gift of livestock. How did you know? It's perfect. Whatever cause you're passionate about, give it as a gift at changingthepresent.org. This is Erica, your average complicated 30-something in therapy with a not-so-average therapist, Dr. Tom. His specialty... Time travel therapy? She doesn't talk about her past, she relives it. Wait, where am I going? Literally. After two years, it's time for phase two. Let's do this! Now she's running from the law. Oh my god! Rescuing her family. Lay off my brother! And dealing with her own mortality. Nine years from now, something awful is going to happen. Am I dead? So now what? Good question. Check out the all-new season of the SoapNet original drama, Being Erica. Premieres Wednesday, January 26 at 11 on SoapNet. Who's coming and who's going? SoapNet has the status update on your favorite stars. You know her as General Hospital's Emily and Rebecca, but now Natalia Livingston is moving to Salem on Days of Our Lives. How can I stay away? On One Life to Live, Brandon Buddy is saying so long. This is the right thing to do. While Terry Colombino is Landview's newest resident. That is amazing. Daniel Cosgrove returns to All My Children as Scott Chandler. Come here often. And General Hospital fans can now catch Tristan Rogers on The Young and the Restless. But that's a bonus. Keep up with the latest status updates on SoapNet. Hi. Hey, listen, uh, did you tell Frank about Jack's column? No. 
No, I want to tell him some good news, but it didn't do me any good. What do you mean? Nothing. Look, I have to see little John. I'll see you later, okay, Mary? All right. Bye. I hate to say I told you so. Since when? And what did you tell me? That you'd get the feeling back. That you'd get well. One small wiggle of a toe. One giant leap for Frank Grimes. They tell me it's significant. Take it from an expert. It is. What expert? Me! All those summers I worked as a physical therapist aide taught me something. That's right. Maybe you know more about this than I've given you credit for. I uh, know how to save you some money. That I'd like to hear. Let me work with you. I'm going to ask Ed if he'll assign me as aide to your therapist. Uh, thanks a lot, but I'd prefer a professional. Hey, come on. I'm very good. I know you are. It's just teasing. I'd like that, Mary. Good. Well, I'd better see some results right away, or I'll have to look for someone else. It's a deal. Now you can say, I told you so. Great, but what am I saying it about? Jack Fennell. His column? Yep. Bad. Not exactly an unqualified endorsement. Maybe you better read it to me. <sighs> All right. I'll skip the lead-in because it tends to get a little long-winded. Finally, he ends up with a list of questions about the $6,500 and when you came to see Nick Zabo and all that stuff. Yeah. And then we get to the good part. <clears throat> Unfortunately, Ryan has already been revealed as another politician who will not or cannot answer questions that are clearly of the greatest public interest. He's after me, all right. The city council election is truly our nation in microcosm. In these days when so many Americans are troubled by evasion and secrecy and unanswered questions at the highest levels, what hopes can we have for the future if we cannot at least expect clear and candid answers from our neighbors and friends? We do not expect that Mr. Ryan be a hero, but we can demand of him behavior that will earn him the trust and confidence of his would-be constituents. Well, it's a good thing he doesn't live in our district. I have a feeling I wouldn't get his vote. Oh, Frank. I feel so terrible about this. I was wrong about him. I'm sorry. He promised me he'd be fair. I'm sure he thinks he was. He claims that everything he says was true. It's the way he says it, the implications he makes, and the way he completely overlooks the fact that it is understandable you couldn't answer some of those questions after what you've been through. That's what's so unfair about it. Let's not put too much importance on it. There's never been a political candidate in the history of life who hasn't had a little muck raked over him. You mean to say you're not discouraged by this? I'm sorry you were personally disappointed in Finelli. Why, well, don't you think this is going to hurt the campaign? Not in the final analysis. It's a simple matter to prove where that money came from. All anybody has to do is look at my bank book. We'll make photocopies and distribute them all over the district if we have to. But, um, what about the questions you weren't able to answer? Like what? Like, like when you said push. I was probably delirious. Hey, don't worry. We'll get this all worked out. Oh, I hope so. Don't you stop trusting me. Oh, no, I won't. I'll just be so happy when you can answer all of Finelli's questions and make him eat his words. I would personally like to stuff them down his throat. In Port Charles, revenge is a priority, relationships are disposable, and good medical care is a necessity. Keep up with this fast-paced city with an all-new episode of General Hospital, weeknights at 10 on SoapNet.